All right, I started playing this, and I was like, wait, why am I not recording this? <laughs> yeah, hello everyone, and welcome to another Stamina video, Toxic Shock, Pendulum, Act 2, and yeah, just giving a little peek at said modifiers and like. All right, full concentration mode, activate. And now, full... Post commentary activate. Prepare for 174 BPM streams almost throughout the entire song. So it's gonna be just like this for the great majority of it. You can see a couple of points on the graph where it dips down, but there's only one major break to it, and that's after this stream where it does a, a bunch of lyrics. Well, not really a bunch of lyrics, just a couple of lyrics. So kind of set the mood for the name of the song and stuff like that. So this is a relatively comfortable BPM for me, and yet when I first played this, I had a much, much lower score of like 75 something I think it was. So when I seen this going through the Pendulum Act 2 songs, I thought to myself, wait a second, I think I can do better than that, so <laughs> here I am playing Toxic Shock again on, well, 3.5 speed and just trying to relax my way through it because since it's my comfortable BPM, well, it's a comfortable BPM for me, I should say, I should be able to handle myself pretty decently throughout, even though there really is a ton of stream to this and it is pretty tiring. But that's what makes it a 17. And now really relax. Calm down. Let yourself recover. I'm listening to the lyrics, I'm like, what? And then I see these minds, and I'm like, what? <laughs> anyway, the streams resume, and... Basically now, there's no breaks until the end of it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, I mean, yeah, there are, as I said, there are those little dip-downs, but... Just wait until you see when we get to one of those dip-downs. <laughs> the the dip-downs basically mean nothing, let's put it that way, because it's just not much of a dip down for you to recover. So, when it comes to the rhythm games, or any sort of rhythm game in general, there definitely is a fatigue aspect. Like, this is probably the highest fatigue aspect of all the rhythm games, are dance games. But even when you're playing stuff like Guitar Hero, you know, your fingers, they, they start to get a little bit, little bit tired after a while. <laughs> You know, hitting thousands upon thousands of buttons. I mean, well, thousands of thousands of notes, I should say. You know, there's five buttons on Guitar Hero and one strum bar. But you get what I mean there, so... <laughs> so, it's it's like... The, this is a pretty good example of how rhythm games just tend to be, only in a more contact, compact form of sorts. So, you know, I'll, I'll get tired much more quickly in this sort of rhythm game than I would in a Guitar Hero, but the the tiredness does sort of equate to the same impact in gameplay consistency, I guess you could say. Like, in Guitar Hero, if your fingers are getting tired, you might not be as accurate. It's, you know, you're, trying, you're, you're focused on your fingers, you know, trying to keep them limber as you're going or something like that, you know, as, as opposed to just hitting the notes as you would normally, and, and thus you're better off just taking a break from that in the meantime. Like, whenever, whenever you're feeling overly tired or sore, it's always best to take a break from something, because you don't want to push yourself and then cause injury or something like that. Uh, video games can have repetitive motion strain injuries, for instance, so... Yeah, I was like... <laughs> It's like, okay, I gotta recover, don't get, don't, don't, don't get all lax about that, this is, you're only halfway through here, we can't, we can't be that lax while we're going for a high score anyway, we're trying to, trying to get ourselves, or I should say show ourselves that we have indeed improved, and I'm, I'm kind of, kind of stumbling there a little bit, but I just gotta get myself back on track here, and I will soon enough, it's just that, like, when I, when I get too lax, I tend to lose where I am, and that I think is a part of getting tired as well. Along as, as with, with your going, so when you, like when you get tired and you're trying to conserve energy, you tend to waver on your regular technique a little bit, and then you underhit your steps and stuff like that. Or at least I tend to do that. So it, it it's like you gotta figure out what 
your tendencies are so that you can work on that to improve them. Like, you see, I'm back on track now. Now that I realized what I was doing, and now I'm, yeah. <laughs> now I'm hitting, hitting like normal for the most part, so. It's like, okay, I, I gotta realize what, what was I doing during that moment in time? Have I shifted off to the side? Have I started under moving my feet? What, what, what was I doing at that moment in time? I'm just trying to feel that out repeatedly, and eventually I hit it, and now we're back up to speed here. I mean, sure, the fatigue is increasing, but it's not... It's not I think that... that was a big one. <laughs> yeah, that was the biggest stream in the song. Uh, but yeah, it's it's not that big of a factor because, as I said, this is a comfortable BPM for me. So I can just keep going at 174 for quite a while, just in general. Um, but now, as I was saying about those little quote-unquote dips in the graph, you'll see that those were not really that much of breaks, were they? <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, you, did, you did see that there was some slowdown, but there were still arrows in them. And they didn't give you that much of a slowdown of arrow streams to really give you that much of a recovery. So it's it almost literally feels like streaming 174 beats per minute from start to finish. Aside from that one sorta break near the beginning. Why I say it's a sorta break is because do you really need a break that early in the song? <laughs> you should still be fresh at that point, you know? <laughs> so it's like they would be more impactful if it was later in the song, like say halfway through or something like that, but no, 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 no. That's at the point where it doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> so, so yeah, you see that it, it looks like there's only 14 measures of stream here and then we're going to have a break. Oh, but then, you know, we, we end up at that break and two more measures are like, yeah, we got a break. And one, here's right? a couple. Nope, nope, that's not really much of a break now, is it? Because there's jumps thrown in the mix as well. I mean, yeah, I'm getting more and more tired as the song is progressing, as I've said, but I'm still relatively consistent on 174 BPM. So this is definitely a quote unquote comfortable speed for me, and thus I can kind of play through that because I, I have the feel of that BPM down pretty nicely and I can play fairly relaxed. And I think that's the key to getting the hang of any BPM. Like, before, I would definitely not have been able to play at this fast a speed until I kept practicing at it. So I think you gotta keep pushing yourself out of the comfort zone of your BPMs and just keep trying to go faster and faster. And I, I, I think that's what happened here, is I kept playing 174 BPM stuff and I got comfortable with it. But now I gotta keep getting and playing faster and faster stuff than I usually do, which is around 170 to 180 range. So I'm, I've been trying to play more 200 stuff and the like along so the way as well. But look at that. Come completed, baby! Alright. First 17 of the day there. Not bad, though. <laughs> Definitely beat my last um, when I played it, played it a long time ago on uh, East Coast Stamina 7. Well, I didn't get a pass for it on the tournament, but I passed it afterwards. And it was like 70-something as a score, so yeah, this is way better. I've come a long way. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Oh, and this wasn't the pack that the other Toxic Shock was in. Um... Wow, that's accurate. <laughs> uh, hold on a sec. Maybe I'll show you really quick here. The other score uh, was this one. Yeah, 74.01. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. <laughs>